Hi everybody, welcome back. I'll give you a few seconds to grab some props if you need them, blocks, a blanket, a strap, a bolster. If you don't have or if you don't want to use them, that's okay too, no problem. We'll get started in a couple seconds. We're starting today in a modified Janu Shirshasana, a seated position. Start with your left leg extending out. Your right knee will be bending, your right foot will be close to your left thigh. Keeping your sit bones level, I'm gonna grab a, a block here. Feel free to do the same, or if you wanna just do a regular side stretch, that's okay too. I am resting my elbow on the block as I lean over. You can hang here if you wanna just make it more active and grab your foot, go for it. Or using a strap to hold the foot, completely up to you, or just letting your hand rest on the leg. The other option is floating the right arm up and relaxing fingertips behind the head. And just softening into the side stretch without collapsing forward, right? We wanna just stay lifted opening the whole right side of the body. As we deepen the breath, really feel the right ribs flare out. Try to soften the shoulders. Keeping the breath moving. And let's take two or three more deep breaths. And start to release as you come back upright, return to center. We'll go the other way. So fold the left leg in, extend your right leg out so your left foot is close to the inner right thigh. Same thing, you can either keep your left hand on the knee, right hand on the foot, hand on the leg, use a strap if you want to hold on to the foot. Lots of options or do what I'm doing taking a block outside the right leg with my elbow resting and my left arm. You can hold it right here with the left hand down or just left arm up. Fingertips behind the head and just relax the shoulders. And try to ease into the stretch Letting the breath just kind of soften you in a little bit more each time you inhale, each time you exhale. Deepening the breath through the left side, the left ribs. deep breath. Let's return upright again, then extending both legs out on the mat. I'm going to grab my blanket here just for a nice little release and it'll probably feel good for my hamstrings and lower back. So feel free to do the same. You can roll up a blanket or if you want to use a bolster. If you'd rather not use anything behind your knees, that's fine. It's just a forward fold and we don't need to go full throttle into this because we're not really warmed up at this point. This is just more of a releasing stretch. You can relax the hands down the legs. If it's easy to grab the feet, grab the feet. If not, don't sweat it. Let yourself soften forward. And the, the prop underneath the knees helps to release the hamstrings a little bit, releases the back a little bit more. 
And let's give ourselves another deep breath or two. And as you release, walk your hands back in, lift the head, the chest up. We'll remove the blanket or the prop if you have one. Keep it close by in case you wanna use it later. Start to bend the knees, cross your ankles, come forward to hands and knees. Let's do a few rounds of cat and cow just to warm up the spine a little more, tucking or untucking the toes. Inhale, arching. Exhaling, rounding into your cat. You can close the eyes if you choose as you proceed. Slight back bend or not, keeping the eyes open, that's okay too. Rounding down. Let's take two or three more. Just move with the sound of the breath. Coming back to a neutral spine, walk your fingertips back, roll up slowly to stand on your knees, soften the shoulders back, turn the palms out, inhale, sweep the arms up, bring the palms to prayer at the heart center, reach the left arm forward, reach the right arm back, opening to the right, coming into this nice open twist. Then return the arms overhead, palms together, prayer through the heart, modified child's pose, soften the hips to the heels, arms back, forehead to the mat, and hold for a deep breath in. Hold for a deep breath out. Come onto hands and knees, slide the fingertips toward the knees, roll up one vertebra at a time, coming to stand on the knees, Shoulders back, arms out, sweep overhead, palms together, prayer at the heart, right arm forward, left arm back, nice open twist to your left, return to center, come up, palms together, child's pose, arms back, hips back, forehead down on the mat. Bringing it to hands and knees, we'll do one more set. Walk your fingertips back to the knees, roll up, uncurl onto the knees, arms out, sweep overhead, palms together at the heart. Left arm forward, right arm back, opening to the right. Bring the arms over to center, palms to prayer, child's pose, shift back, head down, arms back. Hands and knees come back up. Walk fingertips to the knees, roll up slowly. Standing on the knees, relax the shoulders, arms out, overhead, palms to prayer. Right arm forward, left arm back, opening to the left. Bring it back overhead, palms together. Sink to the heels, child's pose, head down, and hold for another full breath in, full breath out. And come back to your hands and knees. This time, let's go to downward facing dog. Tuck the toes, lift the hips up and back, and walk out your feet in the first downward facing dog of the day. Right, stretch out the legs, shaking things off. Big inhale, lift the heels up. Big exhale, sink the heels down. Soft bend in the knees, look forward. Step or float the feet to the front of the mat. Folding over the legs when you get there, relax the head down. Take your hands to opposite elbows and just hold in a ragdoll pose. If it feels comfortable, you can nod the head or sway a little. 
and dropping the arms toward the floor. Roll up slowly to stand. Let your head come up last. Standing tall, palms slightly forward, Tadasana. Inhale, sweep the arms around, grab the right wrist with the left hand, stretch up and over to your left while stepping your right foot behind your left leg. Crossing over, stretch to the left, come back to center, step the right foot over, fold over the legs, soften the knees, lift the chest, inhale. Exhaling your left foot, stepping back in a low lunge. Then roll to the outer edge of the left foot and walk your right foot over, coming into a modified side plank. Lower your left hip on the mat. The right foot steps out. I just figured it was easier to show you on this side facing you. Your right foot in front the right heel lined up with the knee, lined up with the hip, and resting the right arm on the knee, thumb and index finger together. You can hold it here, enjoying the nice stretch. Or if you want to make it a little more active, the option is lift away from the mat and sweep the right arm over. Now, completely up to you. Wherever you are, let's hold for another deep breath or two. And let's lower both hands, lower the hip down, lower the hands down, we'll bring it back to low lunge. So bringing your right foot through the hands. Now let's downward facing dog with the palms flat, step back. Feel free to modify as you see fit, of course, come forward. I'm still working through shoulder stuff, so I'm modifying. You can chaturanga or drop the knees. Inhale to Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. And return to Down Dog or take Child's Pose. Let's give it a few deep breaths. And let's Meet in Downward Facing Dog if you're not already there. We'll lift the right leg high, put a bend in the knee, let the hip open. Then level the hips, low lunge, bring your foot through the hands. Step all the way forward to the front of the mat and fold over the legs. Take your hands to opposite elbow, switch the grip from the first side, hanging in ragdoll. Relax the head down and yeah, of course, feel free to sway or nod the head if that feels good. Relaxing arms toward the mat, roll up slowly to stand. Standing nice and tall in Tadasana. Big inhale, sweep the arms around. Grab your left wrist with the right hand, stretch up and over to the right while stepping your left foot behind the right leg, opening the whole left side of the body. Uncrowd your ears with the shoulders, so soften the shoulders down one more time. And come back to center, dive over the legs, soften the knees, lift the chest on the inhale. Step the right foot back as you exhale, low lunge. Then coming into our modified side plank variation, walk your left foot out, roll to the outer edge of the right foot and lower your right outer leg and hip on the mat. So your left foot, feel free to heel toe the left foot your heel lines up with the knee, lines up with the hip. You can hold it here, left arm on the knee, thumb and index finger together. You're getting this nice side stretch through the right side. Or if you did it on the first side, you can press down, lift up, extending your left arm overhead. Just depending if you want a more active practice today or a more restorative practice, completely up to you. One more breath. Let's release it out, both hands back down on the mat, lifting the back, the bottom hip up. Return to low lunge with your left foot through the hands. 
step it back to downward facing dog. Big inhale, take it forward to plank. Exhale, chaturanga or drop the knees. You can even lower all the way to the belly if you like. And open the heart. Nice back bend, soften the shoulders. Return to down dog or take child's pose. And let's give it another two or three deep breaths. One more full breath. And from our downward facing dog, let's lift the left leg, bend the knee, open the hip. Level the hips, low lunge, step through. Step all the way forward to the front of the mat and fold over the legs, relax the head down. Step your feet together, toes, heels touch, sink the hips down, Utkatasana, chair pose. Bring palms to prayer at the heart. Keep the hips sinking, knees back a little bit, thumbs at heart center, twist to the right, hook the left elbow, look over the right shoulder, and hold. One more full breath. With your next inhale, come to center, then fold over the legs as you exhale. Step the left foot back in a low lunge. Feel free to grab blocks if you like here. Parsvottanasana, straighten the front leg, Turn the back heel at a 45 degree angle. And feel free to work it a little bit deeper if you want. You can, uh, you can obviously skip the blocks if you don't need them. But what I'm getting at is reaching arms behind you if you either want to interlace fingers behind the back or take your hands to opposite elbows behind the back if you, if you have the space to do so. Round down, one more breath. Good, then put a soft bend in the front knee, lift the chest, and sweep the arms back behind you as you lift the chest a little bit more. Arms back, fingertips back, and lift the left leg, coming into a brief warrior three. Float up. One more breath. Let's come into warrior one. Step the left foot back, heel down, sweep the arms high. Maybe interlace fingers overhead and press the palms up. Give yourself one more deep breath. Yeah, that feels like a nice opening stretch. Let's open up for warrior two, reach out. One more deep breath. Good, bring palms to prayer, skandasana, go left. Feel free to sink the hips a little deeper if there's room, one more time and return to warrior two, come up, arms out, reverse the warrior right arm high, straighten the right leg, adding triangle pose, trikonasana, turn the arms, lower the right hand, lift the left. Nice deep breaths. Relax the toes, lift the chest, lengthen the spine, maybe look up if you can one more time. Return to low lunge as you bend the front knee, lower the hands, turn on the back toes, and actually lower the back knee down on the mat. As you straighten out the front leg, take your left hand outside the right leg for a little outer right hip stretch. One more breath. And come back to center, bend the front knee, down dog, press back. Feel free to hold your downward facing dog. Feel free to flow through your plank chaturanga up dog. And give yourself one more deep breath. With your next inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, low lunge, step through. Step all the way forward to the front, fold over the legs, feet together, toes, heels touch, Utkatasana chair. Knees back, palms to prayer, chest up, twist left, one breath. 
with your next inhale bring it to center then fold over the legs step the right foot back in a low lunge setting up parsvottanasana blocks if you want to grab them under the hands here straighten the left leg turn the right heel 45 degree angle again if you don't need the blocks that's fine skip it if the front knee needs to bend let it relax the toes try to level the hips a little bit without overthinking giving yourself another deep breath and returning hand well yeah, maybe the hands are down maybe not re-bend the front knee lift the chest sweep the arms back behind you start to lean in warrior three float the right leg up hips level chest forward one more time warrior one step back heel down bring the arms up who change the grip until his fingers press the palms high yeah lengthening lifting opening the heart oh that feels so good one more breath good let's open up for warrior two reach out Let's skandasana, bring palms to prayer at the heart. Shift your weight, go to the right as you stretch the left leg. Feel free to sit as deep as you have room for. One more breath. We'll release back for warrior two. Arms out, reverse the left arm high, straighten the left leg. Trikonasana, triangle pose. Turn the arms, lower the left hand, lift the right. Just soften into the stretch, relax the toes, and you can look to the right, maybe peek up at your fingertips. Keep the breath strong. One more breath. Oh, that feels so good. Low lunge, lower the hands, turn on the back toes, lower your right knee. Ardha Hanuman, straightening the left leg. Take your right hand outside the left leg. One breath. Oh, there we go. Returning back to center, bending up at the left knee. Let's downward facing dog press back. Again, feel free to hold in your down dog. Feel free to flow through. Good, giving yourself another deep breath. Let's Padangushtasana, soften the knees and walk your hands back to your feet so you're folding over the legs back of the mat. Grabbing big toes in Yogi Toe Lock, lift the chest, big inhale. Exhale, round it down. Three deep breaths. With your next inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, releasing out the toes. Walk your hands out for your downward facing dog. And from your down dog, lower the knees. Let's do a little Virasana today. Hero pose, maybe grab your blanket if you wanna use it. Sit back on your heels. Feel free to take a block between the heels if that feels better on the knees. Your blanket, should you wanna use it, you'll just thinly fold it behind the knees. That takes pressure off the knees. And of course, you can always just dial the whole thing back coming into a cross-legged seat, Sukhasana. So from where you are, if you're where I am sitting on the heels and that feels reasonable, you can stay there or separate your feet so that your hips reach the mat a little easier today, keeping your knees reasonably close together. Then walk your hands back, and I don't know how far I'm gonna go today, probably not that far, considering that my shoulders are still impacting me. So you can, of course, work this as far back as you like, letting your elbows and forearms settle onto the mat, right? And if your upper back reaches the mat, you can reach arms overhead, taking your hands to opposite elbows behind you. 
And of course, if you get a foot cramp, then you're going to release it out like I'm doing. Okay. So if you're a little more upright like I am, your hands back behind you, lift the chest, soften the shoulders back and scoop the tailbone, lift the, lift the hips off the heels. So the quads get a nice stretch. The chest lifts up, head back, or just continue staying on your heels, right? Scooping the tailbone anyway for the stretch and relax the head back. Let's give ourselves another deep breath or so. And walk the hands back in slow, slow, slow. Let's come off the heels. Bring the legs around front. I'm gonna grab a blanket here anyway for a seated forward fold, but feel free to skip it um, if you feel more warmed up at this point and the legs are ready to work it a little bit deeper. Completely up to you for Paschimottanasana. I am propping under my knees again. Sit tall. Inhale, lift the arms high, then exhale, come forward and grab your feet. Use a strap or belt if you need. You can rest your hands on the legs. And just softening forward, relax the head down. As you continue lengthening forward and really sending the breath to the back, the back ribs. Trying to open up as much space with the breath as you can. Right, the lungs have a lot of real estate in there, right? So it, this is a really great opportunity to fill the lungs with the breath all the way from the tippy top to the lower, right? The upper lobes, bottom lobes, back lobes. Let's give it another full breath. And slowly as you uncurl, come up. Let's release out. I'm moving the blanket to the side. And roll down, bend the knees, roll down onto your back. We'll do a little reverse figure four, a little reverse pigeon pose. As you lay back, feet on your mat, bending up at the knees, bring your right ankle above the left knee. Hug the left leg in, interlace fingers, flex your feet, maybe interlace fingers on top of the left leg, below the left knee if that feels reasonable for your joints. Give yourself another deep breath or two. And letting go. Return your right foot onto the mat. We'll go the other way. Left ankle, right knee. Hug the right leg in, flex your feet. Maybe interlace fingers on top of the right leg, below the right knee. Soft shoulders, deep breaths. One more time. Good, release feet on the mat. Knees bending, Supta Baddha Konasana, drop the knees out. Feel free to prop the knees for the, you know, to support the hips if you like. If you wanna go upside down, this is a good opportunity to take your headstand or your shoulder stand. I'm grabbing a block to do the supported variation today. Feel free to do the same, right? Block or bolster or blanket under the sacrum, heels over the hips. Something I also like to do when I'm modifying my shoulder stand this way is give myself another little low back stretch. So I bring my feet back down on the mat, extend the legs out. And that just feels really nice. I'm giving yourself another deep breath or two. And let's release feet on the mat, uncurl. You can 
take your counter stretch from here. Fish pose from shoulder stand. I'm using a prop, so feel free to do the same. If you used a prop for the shoulder stand, use a prop for your fish pose. If you're in Supta Baddha Konasana, you'll just hug the knees in, windshield wiper the knees. And just lay back. Deep breaths. Releasing in any way that feels good for you today. Let's take one more breath. And releasing out. If you're using a prop like I am, roll to your side and come back up. Let's all meet up on the back in Shavasana, extending out the legs. Feel free to cover yourself with a blanket or roll up a blanket or bolster behind your knees for a little supported Shavasana. That should help the low back release very nicely. Let the arms relax out toward the sides. Turn the palms up, close your eyes, letting go of the breath. Soften back on the mat, giving your body this must, much needed opportunity to restore itself and relax. Just let go. Feel free to remain here for as much time as you have today. Otherwise, I will see you on the mat next time. Thank you for sharing your practice with me. Namaste.